Hi, and welcome to Girl Talk. As always, we have a wonderful show. Betsy, this is the first time you've been here to it the Kaiserling the Cancer, time, yes, Cancer Center I'm excited at to be here. Memorial. We are being joined by our albeit excited co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Jackie Brown is the is an RN and clinical director of the Breast Center. And you, young lady, are the nurse navigator, Dana I Wilson. Am. Thank you so much. Thanks for having We're me. We're really excited. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I think for all of us is a really pretty important time of year. I want to uh, hear a little bit about what you're doing. You've got a kind of a cool introduction to this month. I do. Well, we're kicking off Breast Cancer Awareness Month with a free yoga class at Kate Gleason Park on October 7th at 9 a.m. If you wear pink, you get to come out and have a free yoga class through our mm -hmm. LifeFit Wellness Center. They're going to teach it at Kate Gleason Park. You can go on the LifeFit uh, Wellness Center's Facebook page and register to attend. You know, yes. one of the things when we talk, and we've always talked, is even though it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we you talk a lot about mm -hmm. healthy bodies, healthy breasts. Talk to us a little bit about what you encourage women to do to stay healthy. Well, when you're wanting to lower your risk of developing breast cancer, mm -hmm. you're looking at three main things. Uh, one of them is exercise, and the recommendation is that you get about 30 minutes to an hour of exercise at least five times a week. Are you good at that? Um, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Some weeks I'm fantastic. Yeah, exactly. And then other weeks not quite so much. See, this is why we yeah. have hosts because okay. you can ask questions of others. Yeah. Dana, are you a good exercise? Mm -hmm. I'm a good exercise. Yeah. All right, so exercise. I'm a morning exercise. Me too. Oh, dark hundred oh, hours, right? Yes, our dark hundred hours. We're laying sod at home right now. Oh, like that's exercise. So I, that's counting for me this it week. It really is. Yeah. Okay, so exercise <laughs> is really important in breast cancer exercise prevention. Exercise is important in any cancer. Okay. And this is really for all cancers, but we, we really promote this um, for breast cancer also. Exercise is important. A good healthy diet, fruits, vegetables, not too high fat. Okay. And then, of course, lower your alcohol intake. Really? Yes. <laughs> because alcohol. Is that true? Yeah, more than one, about more than one drink a day can put you at risk. I think that's really interesting. I don't think um, that we really realize it. And that's f considered three ounces, four ounces of alcohol? Probably. They just said, you know, they, what they put in the literature is, is one drink. What do you think about that? I think it dramatically increases your risk. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they do say that more than two drinks a day um, can affect your risk of breast cancer. What do you all do special for the month? when it's uh, Breast Cancer, breast awareness, cancer month. awareness Month. So we have several things going on that we're really excited about. Of course, uh, Pink yeah, Yoga in the Park, mm -hmm. which is gonna be great. And then we go out in the community to promote, you know, what are the things you should look for um, Such as? in your breast that you should be concerned about and go see a doctor. So of course, the first thing would be a lump. Okay. And. Um, you know, monthly breast exams have kind of fallen by the wayside. I was going to ask you about that because uh, you hear different things all the time. You do. Really? You do it once a month. No, you don't really need to do it anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I didn't but, know that. But we still encourage it, okay. especially for young women, mm -hmm. you know, because they're not getting the mammograms. Mm -hmm. And breast cancer can occur in very young women. So they should do those monthly breast exams. And, um, and then mm -hmm. starting about age 20 to 30, they should be seeing a physician okay. at least once a year and getting a clinical breast exam. And, and you know, those are some things that you know, we tell our patients to do. I hear very frequently from patients the way they found it was in the shower, that as they're bathing or as they're changing mm -hmm. clothes, that oh, they, they brush feel, against it yes, and feel that exactly. So they may not be doing regimented self-breast exams, but they are catching it. From a young, I work a lot with adolescents, at what age do you recommend girls begin to at least be aware or do self-breast exams? You've got, how old's your daughter? She's gonna be 15. There you go. Oh, two weeks, so. Mm -hmm. Well, they recommend like starting at age 20, but you know, really any age is mm -hmm. uh, a good time to, for women to learn how their breasts feel mm -hmm. and then be able to recognize when there's an abnormality. You know what's really interesting is um, last year I did a seminar for eighth grade girls. Okay, and they could ask anything. It was really free floating, right? <laughs> you know what their biggest concern was? I was thinking all kinds of stuff. Breast cancer. Really? These are eighth grade girls. Really? You well, because one of the girls in the class's mother had had breast right. cancer, and they were all you know worried. super. Yeah, yeah they were all right really worried. Mind. Exactly. Forefront. We're going to take a quick break here on Girl Talk. We're going to come back and we're going to talk, Dana, about your role as a nurse navigator and what that really means. So stay with us. There's more to come on Girl Talk. Girl Talk is brought to you by Custom Audio Video, Bertie James, The Westin Resort and Spa. 
Buford Memorial Hospital, and by Peacock Auto Mall. Please support these local businesses as they make this program possible.